Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the batch editing in Luminar Neo. I will show you how to copy and paste the edit from one picture to the other. And I will also show you how to synchronize the edit between a large number of images. But first, let's talk about the reasons why you would use the batch editing option in Luminar Neo. Well, number one, for example, to prepare the images for one of the Luminar's Neo extension, for example, the Merge HDR or Focus Stacking, where you want to prepare the images before you load them into the extension and export them. The second reason why you would use the batch editing is to be able to apply the same preset to multiple images. Right now, you can just take one image and move it into presets module where you can apply the preset to it. And like this, you would have to do it one by one for a large number of files, which would be very time consuming. With the batch editing, you can just apply the preset to one file and then synchronize the edit across as many images as you want. Another reason you would use the batch editing is to edit large number of photos from the same photo shoot. So for example, you're heading out and you're going to be photographing food in a restaurant where there is the same light condition and similar angles. So instead of editing one by one each of the images, you could then synchronize or copy paste the edit from one photo to the rest of them and then only come back to each of the photos and adjust them individually only on few different tools. And finally, the batch editing option will also allow you to speed up the initial editing process or the development of the raw files. Now I will show you all of that in a moment, so let's jump into Luminar Neo and start. So as you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo and we are in a catalog module. As always, we are looking at the sample files. And if you want to follow me along and try this on your own computer, all you need to do is to jump into the description of the video, follow the link there, and that will bring you into our Dropbox account. From there, download the files, unzip them, and bring them into Luminar Neo before we going to start. Once you do that, we can go ahead and start with the edit. Now, before we're going to start with the edit, I just want to quickly mention that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For a little fee, you can get over 986 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. You will get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs and presets to transform your images with just a few clicks. If you want to get the best price possible, just follow the link in the description of the video. And to find out more about our Luminar Neo Power Bundle, visit our website cleverphotographer.com. Okay, so that is all out of the way and it's time to start with the edit. The first thing we need to do is to look at how you do the batch editing. And for that, you need to know a few things. First thing, you can do the batch editing only in a catalog module of Luminar Neo. So one more time, as you can see, we are in Luminar Neo and we are in a catalog module. Knowing that, that should also give you a hint that the batch editing can be only done in a standalone version of the software. So it can be used when you use it as a plugin for Lightroom or Photoshop. Now back to the software and let's have a look at the options we have when it comes to batch editing. Well, in overall, you have two options. You can copy and paste the edit or you can synchronize the edit. Now, both of it does exactly the same thing, but I will explain you how and when to use each one of them. So first of all, as you can see, I have four example images here, and I have already made some edits to this image here. 
You can say that by seeing this little icon in the top left corner. You can see that the image was already edited. But just to prove you, we jump quickly into edit module. Click on the edits here and you can see that I have applied some enhanced AI, glow, face AI and matte. So I'm going back to the catalog module and now I want to take this edit and these settings and share them with the rest of the images. I want to batch edit all the rest of them. So the first thing I want to show you is how you can copy and paste the edit. Well, it's really simple. You just right click on the image you already edited. And then you go into the adjustments. And in the adjustments, I want you to click on copy adjustments. Now, while we're here, you can see that you can also hit Control or Command C on your keyboard to do that. So copy the adjustments, copy the edit. And now you can select another image where you want to paste the adjustments. And again, right click on it and go into the adjustments and select paste adjustments. Or again, you can use the command or control V. So once you do that, you will see that the same icon with the edit appear in the top left corner. And now when I jump into the edit module, and go into the edits, you can see the same settings is applied to the image. So let's go back to the catalog and let's review that. So to copy and paste the settings, you need to first select the image with the edit on it. Then you need to copy it and you can do that by the right click or by clicking on Command C or Control C and then selecting the images you want to paste the edit on. And now don't forget that can be done to one or multiple images. You can select one and then hold command and select another one. And now once I have the images selected, the ones I want to paste the setting on, I can again right click on the image and select adjustments and paste adjustments, or I can hit command or control V on my keyboard. And now we have both of the image having the same edit we have made initially on the original photo. One more time, we can just select one and let's jump into the edit module into edits and as you can see the edits are here. So this is how you copy and paste the edit. So you select the original photo, command or control C, select the photo you want to paste it on and command or control V. Now let's just right click and revert to original. Let's just reset the images and let me show you how to synchronize the edit. So for that we need to select the picture with the edit. So this is our original image with the edit. And now you need to select the images you want to synchronize the edit with. Now you can hold the shift and just highlight all of them and select them at the same time. Or you can just hold command or control and individually select the images you want to share the edit with. Once you're happy, once you have the images selected, the ones you want to synchronize the edit with, you need to right click on the original image, go back into the adjustments and this time hit the synchronize adjustments. Now the keyboard shortcut for this is shift command S or shift control S if you're working on Windows machine. So let's just click on that and you will see that in a second the edit is applied to our images and now we have shared the edit with all of them. So this is the basic of how you do the batch editing in Luminar Neo. You edit the one image, then you come back to the catalog module and share it, synchronize it or copy and paste it with the images you want. It can be done with one image or hundreds of images if you want. And now for the rest of the tutorial, we're going to look at the examples of when you can use batch editing and get the most out of this option. So starting with the option number one, where you want to apply the same preset to multiple different images. As you probably know, right now, if you want to apply preset to the image, you need to select it, then move it into presets module, apply it here and then come back to the catalog module and continue one by one. Now this is fine for maybe two, three, four images, but if you want to do that for 30, 40 images, it's very time consuming. So this is where the batch editing step in. So what we're going to do, we are still in a simple example folder. We are still looking at these portraits with the orange background. We're going to select the first one and then move it into presets module. Here we're going to apply a preset to it and what we can do, we can use one of the presets from our power bundle. So let's go into the special looks folder and here, for example, select the minimal bright. You click on it, it takes a moment and then it gets applied to the image. You can quickly check the before 
and after. And once you're happy, we can go back to the catalog module. Now we have the preset applied to the image. Again, you can see the little icon in the top left corner of the image. And all we need to do is to select all of our images. And we can do that by using Command or Control A. Or you can use the Shift or Control or Command on your keyboard, whatever works for you. And now all we can do is right click on our original image, click on Adjustments and use the Synchronize Adjustments option. It takes a moment and it applies the edit to the rest of the images. So this is how you apply same preset to multiple different images. And now we're going to talk about using the batch editing when it comes to the Luminar Neos extensions. So some of the extensions like HDR Merge or Focus Stacking require multiple images. So for this example, we're going to be working with the HDR Merge and we are in the HDR Merge folder. So we have three images and ideally you would apply edit to them before merging them together. So let's select the middle exposure, the original one, and then quickly jump into the edit module where I'm going to do just very basic development. Now just very simple, quick edit so we can just jump into our main toolbar, open the enhance AI and increase the accent here. Let's say we go for somewhere around 30. If we need to do some Fine adjustments, we can go into the develop tool, open the light and black and white section, adjust the highlights. So let's go somewhere around minus 30. With the shadows, we can open them up again to somewhere around 30. We can add a little bit of smart contrast. I don't want to touch the exposure because I'm working with the HDR, so I will leave it there. And then I move into my blacks and whites and keeping an eye on my curve, I can bring the blacks down a little bit and increase the whites quite a bit. After that, we can just jump into the color. We can adjust our temperature. So maybe just a little bit more warmth and a little bit more tint. And we can add a little bit more vibrance with our vibrance slider. After this, we can close all of this. We can close the develop tool. And if we want, we can apply any other effects here. So let's say that we're going to apply a little bit of structure AI here. So let's just increase the amount. And once we're done with this, maybe not that much, maybe somewhere around 12, we can just close the structure AI and come back into catalog module. So now we have our initial image prepared and we just need to copy and paste the setting to the rest of our images. So for this, let's just use command or control on our keyboard, hold it and select the other options here. And again, right click on the original image, go into the adjustments and click on synchronize adjustments. It only takes a moment for the images to be edited. And once that's done, you will again see the edit icon in the top left corner of your images. They are all selected. So all is left is to take them, drag and drop them into our HDR merge extension and just click on merge. Now I'm sure you already know how to use this tool. If you don't, just check out our YouTube tutorial. There is a full series on the HDR merge. And for us now, we're going to continue and look at the final example on where you would use the batch editing in Luminar Neo. So this is the final example. We are in a folder called multiple. We're using it from a sample files. And this time I want to show you how you can use the batch editing to edit large number of photos from the same photo shoot. So the sample files we are looking at is my capture of the little village here in the south of England. And normally what I would do is I would select one of the captures then edit it in an edit module and then share or batch edit or synchronize or copy and paste the edit, however you want to call it, with the rest of the images. So then I can go through, make final adjustments and just export them and share them. Since this tutorial isn't about editing, I will speed up the process. You will see me taking care of noise reduction and sharpening in a develop tool, then opening the light and black and white tools to make sure that I adjust that part of the edit and I will finish it in the color section, adjusting the white balance. To top it off, I will use the mystical tool to finish the effect. Once I'm finished, I will come back into the catalog module. Now we are done with the initial edit. We have done the basic development and applied special effect and we are back in a catalog module. Here, looking at all the images, we can decide which of them we want to share the same edit. So again, let's just make sure that we select the image we just edited and then use control or command to select the other images we want to apply the same effect to. 
So all those definitely. I wouldn't actually apply and share the edit with this image because it's a little brighter. So I would probably want to edit that separately. So I will just select this one and this one. Once I am happy, I have a two options here. But the one we're going to use for this example is just to synchronize the adjustments. And to do that, again, we can just right click on the original image, select the adjustments and click on synchronize adjustments. It only takes a second. And as you can see, we already can see the edit icon in the top left corner of the image here. And when I click on the image and I'll move it into edit module and here I'm going to go into the edits, you will see that all the edits are already here. And if I want to make any additional adjustments to it, I can just go through the different tools and do that. So this is how you do the batch editing in Luminar Neo using the copy and paste edit option and also the synchronize adjustment option. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar Give. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.